but you know, after I left the church, I met some homosexual men that were very, very kind to me, and I was, I, I was taken back. I'm like, like, I'm, I'm, I met this guy at, <laughs> at Olive Garden one night with my sister, um, and he offered to pay for my entire uh, dinner, wow. and, and I, I was so taken back. I was like, I, I don't know what to say. So I just said, no, no, let me just do that. Let me just pay for that. I, I got it, you know. And then um, it was so funny because the very next day I saw him at a, uh, I, I went out for, <laughs> for a very moderate drinking <laughs> with my, um, with some uh, friends mm -hmm. and family. And I, I met him and he uh, just came up to me just and just kind of kindly, you know, brought me a, one of these kind of fruity kind of drinks that I like. Yeah. And he, he said, uh, um, you go, man. And then he just walked off. You know, you didn't even you know, expect to thank you or anything. He just kind of walked off. I feel like the church was pointing out problems, mm -hmm. but we weren't finding the solutions. Mm -hmm. And um, exactly. I, and I feel like a lot of the things that they preach on, mm -hmm. that they, you know, want to, that they say that they want to help with, that I would be able to help correct mm -hmm. just by addressing, like, a lot of it, I, I think most of our problems, I think really all of our problems come from from a lack of understanding, I guess, about each other's, of how we're affecting other people and other things around us.